Hi! So today I'm doing a craft project and I thought maybe you'd like to watch. Uh, I am going to turn these two glory bears into a bean monster. So he's going to be a two-headed glory bear and it's going to look awesome! And here's a two-headed Kix. So I did these two different ways. Kix is how I'm going to do glory. So I'm, you can see here, this is all connected this way. I'm trying to orientate myself with the camera. This is all one bear. So I opened him up with this, this one. I'm hoping to do better stitching on Glory. I cut his head off. I cut the stitches off. And I opened him up down to here. This head actually also has an arm inside of there. And I sewed him on. That's a really bad explanation. Let me try that again. Here's Kicks Bear. And this is what we're gonna do with Glory. I'm going to rip this part and open him up down the center. I tried to glue this first. This is the first one I did, and it didn't really work out. So it's kind of hard there, but that's the glue. That's not gonna happen with yours. This is the trickiest part. That's what we're gonna do first. And back here. This guy is a head and an arm. He doesn't actually need in the arm in there, but I used it to anchor it down inside. I didn't attach it or anything. I just felt like it needed some extra fabric. Like, So that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it. Here I had just started before I decided I was gonna film. I ripped from the, se the center of his head here to back here. I'm going to open up the seam down his shoulder to his arm. I guess you could cut it, but I just thought it would look cleaner using a seam ripper. Like he's not sewn all the way here, so you are ripping it. No way. Here it is. You can see it on the inside. So I am all the way down to his arm already. And I thought I wanted to go further, but I guess he doesn't need that much space. I'll stop there if I need to go as I go. You wanna see the inside? His beanie guts. Oh, he has beans falling out. These are PE pellets. Okay, now this guy I am going to cut. So I need enough fabric to sew it in there. I'm gonna cut it this way. He doesn't need his arm, but he doesn't not need his arm. If that makes any sense. Just cutting him right, just attack him. Pinata. Okay, I'm just gonna put his body in this box. Now we have a hole, we have some space, and like I said before with kicks, I'm gonna kinda anchor it in there, and it gives me kinda something to push, hang on to. How good is he gonna look? Okay, so you just gotta shove him in there and work him in. Time they disintegrate, the fluff inside it disintegrates, so I'm gonna add a little more fluff over here, or beans. I have loads of beans, where are your beans? Oh. I'm just trying to get them in. They're falling. They're getting in, but they're falling. All right, shove that back in there. Okay, now I'm gonna start sewing in the center. And then I'll come around the front. You know, I think next time I might cut it bigger, his head area bigger. But I still want to use the other part of the body for something else, like to do one of these. See him, I cut their bodies in half. And then I saved their extra parts because I can make like
so I'm just looking at what I want this to look like and seeing where my thread is to see where I need to go. Unrolling this. Now I'm going to make my way over here so that I can attach his head, the guy that bolt on there, back onto his body. Because I, I cut it further than it needed to, but it was to give the other guy more space to get his head in there. Here. His neck is pretty high and I want it lower. His neck is pretty high and I want it lower. So I'm going to be sticking my needle right up under here and connecting it to his body down here. So I'm going to cinch that up. Now I have to figure out where his body is. This is still his neck. So now I'm just going to go through, back through the whole thing and go through again. Another one silver. It's thick though, like it's hard to get through here. It's a good idea to go the second time around through um, because I hope somebody loves this Bana Baba. You have to at least plan for that. For them to get 
well loved. That's the goal of a teddy bear. There you have it. Thanks for hanging out with me while I made a two-headed glory, just like that. So there he is. All sewed back together. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> Do you love him? Very patriotic. All right, so. It's my video, baby. Do it a glory. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you're gonna try this yourself. Good luck if you do. And hopefully you'll have a thimble and you'll be okay. Now that I'm doing it, he could have used more PVCs in here. He could have. Let me try to wiggle him around. Wiggle his flap around. Oh yeah, it's worth. Bye-bye. It's me again. I'm really not happy with this. It really needs more fluff over here. So I found a spot that I can stick my finger. Once I take this thread out, which I can see over a blue star anyway, so I don't like that. And then, yeah, there it is. I can get down in there. I'm gonna stuff fluff and PVCs down in this hole somehow. Maybe a straw would be a good idea? I think it would. I really think it would. Let me go get a straw. I'll be I can feel. I can feel the beans down here. I can feel the straw. Like maybe it worked a little bit. Ah! Let me grab some fluff out of glory. There we go. I might have to make this hole bigger. Oh, that's so much better. Make sure you vote. Vote. Vote early if you can. November 3rd, 2020. Vote in person if you can. Vote by mail. As long as you vote. Your voice is your vote.